Hey everybody, this week I thought we'd look at France. They take a bit of a laid back approach to life and they're sometimes slow to copy stuff the UK did years ago, like modernising employment law or stopping children from smoking. Um, but they've been cranking up the election fever this week and they're going to have a new French president sworn in before the UK's even voted. And unlike the UK election, nobody already knows who's going to win the French one. Um, so who are the candidates? Well, there's Emmanuel Macron, he'd be the youngest leader since Napoleon. He's fanatically pro-EU and big business, which is being France means big government and crony capitalism and helping to run the economy into the ground. Think of him as a, a French David Miliband, except with a glass of wine instead of a banana. Um, unsurprisingly, he wants transformation, which is a kind of lazy, undefined slogan that people go for these days, supposedly. And he's never held public office before, but he was an economic advisor to President Hollande, which is a bit like if you were applying for a job as Theresa May's hairdresser and you let her know that your previous clients were Ian Duncan Smith and William Haig. Marine Le Pen, I think we all know, she's the populist Trump-style candidate running on a platform of opposing people who aren't French enough. Um, uh, Policy-wise, she's a candidate described by the BBC as far-right, which, this being France, means she's actually to the centre-left on most issues. Um, workers will work less, they'll get paid more, they'll get to retire earlier, it'll be all unicorns and rainbows. And In many EU countries, they do achieve this, but it's by scamming Germany into bankrolling the whole thing. And Marine Le Pen is also very anti-EU, so I'm not entirely sure how she plans to pay for any of it. Uh, but if you had to compare it to the Westminster election, imagine that on June the 8th, you go into your ballot box, and there's only two options in the ballot paper, and one is Jeremy Corbyn and the other one is Carolyn Lucas except that one of them is wildly Islamophobic for whatever reason um, one last thing, uh, one good policy to come out of this, uh, it's one of Macron's uh, he wants to reduce the size of the French Parliament by a third, that's uh, an idea that Theresa May might want to copy actually um, anyway, see you next week if you like these, click subscribe